This month's Rita recipe is a southern comfort kind of dinner. We're going to be making chicken and biscuits today, so let's go ahead and get started. This is a super simple recipe. It's really similar to a chicken pot pie, but way easier. So to start, we're gonna add a large saucepan to the stove and turn it on low heat and add half a cup of butter and let that slowly melt down. Then you're gonna add three fourths of a cup of chopped onion to the butter and saute that till nice and soft. Next, you're gonna add a half a cup of a baking mix such as Bisquick, one teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Mix that until everything is combined. Then slowly pour in four cups of milk. With a whisk or a spatula, cook this over low heat, stirring until the mixture is completely smooth and bubbly. At this point, it's going to start to thicken and get really saucy and delicious. Let the mixture boil and stir for about one minute. After this, remove it from the heat and stir in two cups of frozen peas and carrots and three to four cups of cooked and chopped chicken. Now for the chicken, you can use any kind of chicken you want. You can bake it specifically for this recipe. You can use leftover chicken. You can use rotisserie chicken. So just use three to four cups of any kind of chicken that you have on hand. Stir it all together until combined in a nice thick saucy mixture. Pour the hot mixture into a nine by 13 baking dish. To finish this off and add the biscuit element to this recipe, you're gonna use one tube of refrigerated canned biscuits such as Grands. Unroll the biscuits and place them on top of the creamed mixture, making sure not to stretch or flatten the biscuits. Place into a preheated 350 degree oven and bake for 14 to 16 minutes until the biscuits are nice and golden brown on top and the creamed mixture is nice and bubbly. Chicken and biscuits is an easy and delicious weeknight family dinner recipe that everyone will love and it's also super versatile. Increase or decrease the portions depending on your family size and needs and you can also swap out for any kind of vegetables that you want. This will definitely be a fan favorite for the whole family. For the full recipe, head on over to KentuckyLiving.com. Everything that you need to know, plus so many other family weeknight dinner recipes where you can gather around the table together, can be found over there. Thanks so much for joining me in my kitchen today, and until next time, I will talk to you very soon. Bye.